Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here, and if you are a fan of Riverdale, it has literally been a roller coaster and a half over these past few episodes, all containing little scenes between our favourite two people, Archie and Betty. Because over the past few episodes, the show has been hinting so much at them getting together, and it seemed so close, like literally they were uh, off seeing each other, it seemed like finally... It was going to be over for Archie and Veronica and over for Betty and Jughead. And now, Barchi is going to come, Betty and Archie. And it, we, it all seems so hopeful. But if you're like me and have seen the most recent episode of Riverdale, you'll have seen that some serious things kind of happened because it had been building up, especially in stuff like the musical episode of Betty and Archie finally getting together. However, now we've just had an episode where literally Betty has just went up to Archie and said, Nah, it's not going to happen. It's all over. So, does that mean that Barchi is never going to happen and we're going to be stuck with Bughead for all of the rest of Riverdale? Like, I really hope not, but it seems like it's going in that sort of direction. So, the question we're going to be asking today is, is Barchi never going to happen? Because uh, it seemed so hopeful f up to now, but now... Is it actually going to happen? Like, is it possible to happen? I'm going to run through everything that we think might happen and see whether we think it could still actually happen. Maybe there's a glimmer of hope for all of us Barchi fans out there. But before we go any further, if you haven't already, make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so you get notified whenever we make a brand new Riverdale video. <laughs> So, to start with, let's run down every big major thing that happened in the last episode so that we can see why we've sort of came to this conclusion now of thinking that Barchi might never happen even though for the past few episodes it's literally been building up to something big about to happen. So, in the last episode, Betty exclaims that she thinks she's been in love with Archie for the past 10 years. However, Cheryl knows that Betty and Jughead breaking up right before the end of school may not be the best idea, so she reassures Betty that it isn't true. Cheryl then says this, False, you've been in love with the idea of the perfect romance, but that wasn't real, that was fantasy. But in this town of nightmares, you and Jughead found each other. That's real, that's even, maybe, dare I say, endgame, who knows. People stray, it happens, the trick is to stop straying before anyone gets hurt. Now, Betty seems to take this advice pretty personally and basically thinks to herself, what is she doing with Archie? And you can see that she kind of regrets about it considering that she begins to cry about it all later. Now, Betty then goes to Archie and then it seems to make it crystal clear to him that things weren't going to happen anymore. Throughout the episode, both can't stop thinking about each other, with Betty going through her old diaries to remind her of when she was last in love with Archie as a child, and she runs through all of the memories, such as when Archie proposed to her, and you can tell that she's really enjoying it. However, she keeps on hiding it away from anyone else, and then when Cheryl finally reads it, Betty becomes to realise actually she needs to stop thinking about Archie because she has a boyfriend. And while all this is going on, Archie is also thinking strongly of Betty and ends up writing a song about her. But then Betty realises the risks both Archie and Betty would be taking if they started to get together. Betty loves Jughead and Archie loves Veronica and Archie agrees with those two statements but Betty basically just says it's completely over between them two. And it was left kind of awkward. I mean, Betty literally was crying and then stopped Archie halfway through his song that he'd written for her. And you can tell by Archie's expressions, he wasn't prepared for any of that. So that sort of leaves us with two questions. Firstly, is Barchi over? And secondly, could Barchi still work? Because it seemed so strongly like we were heading somewhere with Barchi being endgame. I mean, KJ Apa, who plays Archie, even said himself in an interview that he thinks Betty and Archie is endgame. But is it now fully over between them? Firstly, it's going to be very awkward considering the way that they left it off. And it may be even awkward now, not just as them two liking each other, but them as friends. So could that have completely ruined the chances of Barchi ever happening? Well, 
let's get into it. So firstly, there's many reasons why we could think Betty and Archie aren't ever going to happen. But then on the other side, there's loads and loads of reasons why we could think they could still happen, even with this awkward moment that happened between Betty and Archie. Because to us right now, it seems like it's over. But then again, this is Riverdale. Nothing's ever fully over. I mean, I'd completely forgotten about the tapes uh, back at the beginning of season four, and now they're back. However, we do have one problem. Is Barchi still going to happen in season four, or are they going to wait for it to happen in season five? Because Riverdale's plans has been changed drastically, probably more than any other TV show on the planet right now, because of the big global pandemic that is happening. And of course, I won't get into too much detail about it, but basically what's happened is instead of the normal 22 episodes that season four and the rest of the other Riverdale seasons have gotten, Instead, season 4 has been cut back 3 episodes and is now only having 19 episodes, which means that the next episode that comes out is meant to conclude the season. And of course, lots can happen in 3 episodes of Riverdale. So, are they going to conclude this story? First of all, the episode that is coming out, episode 19, which is finally going to end season 4, is called Killing Mr. Honey, and judging by the trailers and considering what we found out about Mr. Honey in the last episode, it's going to be focusing more on the mystery side of things instead of the love lives. So it may still ha incorporate bits of the love life drama into it, however it looks like it's more going on along the sides of the uh, videotapes and the mystery behind that and eventually maybe even killing off Mr. Honey. And that will probably be the end. And if you want to know any of our theories about these videotapes, then there will be a link in the description down below to our most recent video on them, or there will be a card up there appearing that you can also go and click on. Now, if there was going to be the planned 22 episodes for the season, then maybe Barchi might happen, and it might have been, I don't know, the season finale. But since they've cut it off so short right at the end, it might mean that we may have to wait till season 5 before anything actually happens because it looks like in this episode they're just going to be concluding the videotape uh, mystery instead of focusing on the love lives. And as for season 5, it's going to take place probably a couple years in the future, maybe even a time jump because everyone's going to be in separate places in university. So that really isn't in Barchi's favour right now. Another problem is of course the family. Now, the Coopers and the Joneses literally live together. They're very, very close. If Betty was going to break up with Jughead, it would cause a lot of awkwardness, not just between them two, but between the two families. Bearing in mind, Alice and FP are also together. So, would that be the best decision for Betty to do? And, like I was saying before, with um, Cheryl warning Betty about uh, risking all of this, it's coming very close to the end of school and they're off about to leave. Ending school with breaking up with your boyfriend who you've been with forever is probably not the best way to go about it. I, I get breaking up, but then breaking up and instantly going on to someone else who's your boyfriend's best friend is probably not the best idea. So those are maybe a few points that are not really in Barchi's favour. However, Riverdale always does something for a reason, and for the past few episodes, every scene that we get with Betty and Archie together, we always seem to get some sort of flashback to them in previous seasons where we've also had the same feeling of are they going to get together. And of course, Riverdale does everything for a reason, so maybe these flashback scenes do hint towards actually Betty and Archie might get together because they wouldn't put them in unless if they weren't actually needed. And considering what Betty did at the end of that episode made Betty and Archie seem kind of awkward between each other, it's not going to be long before Veronica and Drughead realise that, and then they're going to start questioning things, which could lead into every single couple breaking up. Who knows? But unfortunately, is that still going to happen in one episode left? I highly doubt it. I honestly think they will get together, but I don't think it might be this season. It might be like right at the end on the cliffhanger, but because they've lost three episodes now, it's a lot less likely it's going to happen. And I reckon they're going to focus mainly on recovering this mystery and then they're going to leave fans wondering for at least another year before we finally get some episodes in season five. 
But anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to see all of the evidence that Archie and Betty might get together, then you can go and check out our last video on them. And that will be in the description down below, or you can click the card up there right now. And while you're here, why don't you put something down in the comments about whether you think Barchi will happen, or whether you think there's no chance it's going to happen, or if you think like me, and maybe it might happen in Season 5, because unfortunately, we've only got one more episode left of Riverdale, and it's really annoying, unfortunately. But anyway... As always, we've been here in Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.